Hi everybody, on this episode I visit Shinjuku Tokyo which is the major commercial and administrative center in Tokyo, Japan. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and open notifications to be informed about new travel videos from all around the world. Shinjuku is a special word in Tokyo, Japan. It is a major commercial and administrative center housing the Shinjuku station, which is the busiest railway station in the world. Also, Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, the administration center for the government of Tokyo, is located there. As of 2018, the world has an estimated population around 350,000. It takes about 90 minutes by either train, bus or taxi from Narita Airport to Shinjuku. The easiest way to get to Shinjuku from Haneda Airport by public transportation is to take the Keio line to Shinagawa and transfer there for the JR Yamanote line for Shinjuku. Shinjuku is a major transport hub. Shinjuku station is the busiest train station in the country and 12 separate lines run through Shinjuku station including the JR Yamanote line. Shinjuku station, meanwhile, is widely believed to be the world's busiest train station and millions of people pass through the station daily. Thanks to the red light district, Kabukicho, Shinjuku is known for sexy nightlife, hostess and host clubs, and love hotels. But it's also known for nightlife in general. In the 1960s and 70s, a lot of students and counterculture types hang out in Shinjuku. There are a handful of jazz bars and jazz cafes left over from that era. Shinjuku Station itself was born in 1885, opening as a stop of Nippon Railway and grew up with the additions of the Chuo, Keio and Odokyo lines until 1923. It was in the 1920s that Shinjuku as a district began to grow rapidly, with its population jumping 62% in the decade to 1930s. Shinjuku Station continued to expand in the post-war period with the Marunouchi, Toei Shinjuku and Toei Oedo line until 2000. Shinjuku's ascendant economic stature was transformed into political power when the new city hall for Japan's capital, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Offices, was built west of the station in 1991. In 2011, Guinness World Records certified Shinjuku Station as the busiest in the world with an average of 3.64 million passengers per day. Omoida Yokocho is a tiny alley with old-school restaurants laying on the northwest side of the Shinjuku Station which is a great place for a taste of old Tokyo. Tokyo Metropolitan Government offices have observation decks located on the 45th floors of these two towers offer some of the best views of the city. On clear days, you can see Mount Fuji from here along with the entire city of Tokyo spread out beneath you. Shinjuku Guyon Garden is a super park garden is overlooked by many visitors to Tokyo. Kabukicho is Seafing Nightlife Dining Red Light District, northeast of Shinjuku Station, which is alternately fascinating and repelling. Golden Gai is a small atmospheric nightlife district in Kabukicho, packed with over 200 small bars and eateries. Hanazono Jinja Shrine in the crazy entertainment district of East Shinjuku offers a nice reprieve from the madness of the city. Tokyo Toy Museum is close to Yotsuya Sanchome subway station, which is more of the play space for children than a proper museum. 
Shinokuba Korea Town is a collection of Korean shops and restaurants one stop north of the Shinjuku station. Shinjuku Skyscaper District consists several of the skyscrapers which have shops and restaurants on their ground floors and restaurants with great views of the city on their rooftops. Surrounded by a lush green forest right in the heart of Tokyo, Meiji Jingu Shrine is dedicated to Emperor Meiji and Empress Shoken, who led Japan to become a modernized nation. Akihabara is the best neighborhood in Tokyo to buy the newest gadgets, digital cameras, video games and more, as well as being the home of manga and geek culture. Tsukiji Fish Market is a major tourist attraction for both domestic and overseas visitors in Tokyo, which contains retail markets, restaurants, and associated restaurant supply stores. Hamarikyu Garden was originally built as a feudal lord's Tokyo residence and duck hunting grounds during the Edo period, and now visitors can enjoy it as a park with a great landscape. As well as being Japan's oldest zoo, the Ueno Zoological Gardens or simply Ueno Zoo has achieved legendary status in Japan for its giant pandas and success at breeding them. Ginza is known for being Tokyo's number one upscale shopping district with numerous department stores and international brands located in this area. The Tokyo Tower is a communications and observation tower in the Shiba Koen district of Minato, Tokyo, Japan, built in 1958. Shibuya is the ultimate tourist destination with landmarks such as the iconic scramble crossing, fashion, art, shopping experiences and more. The current Imperial Palace is located on the former site of Edo Castle, a large park area surrounded by moats and massive stone walls in the center of Tokyo. Asakusa retains the vibe of an older Tokyo with traditional craft shops and street food stalls along Nakamise Street near the ancient Sensoji Temple. Kabukicho is a famous entertainment district best known for adult-oriented nightlife and as known as Red Light District of Tokyo. Team Lab Planets is a digital museum where you walk through the water and a garden where you become one with the flowers, which is located in Toyosu area. Shinjuku is good for department stores and electronics stores. There are several department stores attached to Shinjuku Station. At the southern terrace there is a shopping complex with a Takashiyama department store, a branch of variety store Tokyo Hands, and a bookstore Kinokuniya that has a huge selection of books in English. Shinjuku Sanchome has fashion forward department stores Marui and Isetan. Nishi Shinjuku has a super big Yodobashi camera, outside the station's east exit there is a big camera. One famous eating spot is Omoide Yokocho. This is an alley lined with a tiny yakitori counters and cheap izakaya that looks straight out of the 1950s. Golden Guy is a special spot with an enclave of some 200 bars in an old wooden buildings. There are lots of big chain izakaya on Yakusoni Dori and also in Nishi Shinjuku by the station. Shinjuku Sanchome has lots of smaller izakaya and also a decent spread of restaurants. Another good option is hitting the department store basement footholds, the Pachika, for picnic items to take to Shinjuku Guyon. There are lots of options here, which is good. Luxury hotels, not really luxury but still nice hotels, business hotels of varying quality, capsule hotels, some hostels on the outskirts. There are lots of places to eat, drink and the shop right here. And Shinjuku is a transit hub with good access to Narita Airport. 
Park Yat Tokyo in a tower in West Shinjuku is one of the most stunning hotels in the city. Hotel Century Southern Tower is steps from Tokyo Station in West Shinjuku and one of the best mid-range hotels in the city. Tokyo Station Shinjuku is a decent and comfortable budget option in the Shinjuku area, which is near Golden Gai and Kabukicho. The best time to visit Tokyo is between March and April and September and November. Autumn ushers in colorful foliage and comfortable temperatures. Spring brings in much of the same, but instead of vibrant fall hues, the foliage you will see here are cherry blossom trees in full bloom. Summer, on the other hand, is peak tourist season, which you will quickly see from long lines at museums and confused subway riders. Shinjuku is worth visiting when in Tokyo. Shinjuku is home to some of Tokyo's most iconic stores, malls, streets, bars and much more. It's one of the busiest districts in the capital city and for good reason. It's guaranteed that you will not be bored when visiting Shinjuku. If you like my Shinjuku Tokyo Japan video, I would like to see your likes, comments and subscription to my channel for the new travel videos from all around the world. See you!